Hello everyone, I am Dr. Lakshmi Kumar. I am an interventional radiologist in PACE hospitals. Today we will be talking about varicose veins. We will give a general information about the varicose veins. What are varicose veins? How, what are their symptoms? Uh, how it is diagnosed? How are they treated? These are all the information we are going to discuss in this video. Veins are the tubular channels which bring blood back from the body to the heart. So, when these veins became swollen and uh, twisted, these are called varicose veins. Commonly seen in the legs. Spider veins and reticular veins. Spider veins and reticular veins are different from varicose veins. These are smaller compared to varicose veins and they are closer to the skin surface. These are red or blue in color. These are commonly seen in legs and face. Blood from the legs is normally pushed slowly towards the heart by the calf muscle activity. And this blood which is being pushed into in the veins this is prevented from sliding back downwards with the help of a cup shaped membranes called valves. When these valves are not functioning properly, this leads to bulging of the veins and development of varicose veins. People with obesity, prolonged sitting or standing habits, pregnancy, prolonged usage of oral contraceptive pills or hormonal replacement therapy, old age, family history. So these are all the predisposing factors for the development of varicose veins. They are usually seen in legs. You can see dilated veins or swelling in the legs, pigmentation of the skin that is discoloration of skin or heaviness or pain, itching, burning sensation. If these are complicated, you can get redness or warmth, increased temperature in the leg or open skin sore or wound. If the varicose veins are neglected, this can lead to some complications like bleeding from the veins, clotting inside the veins, infection of these veins. Infection of these veins leads to increased swelling at that site with the redness and increased temperature at the local site. Also, the clots formed in the varicose veins can migrate into the lungs, which is medically called as pulmonary embolism. This can be life threatening. The patients with the varicose veins who develop the symptoms like swelling in the legs, discoloration of the skin, eczema, hardness of skin, itching, pain in the legs or ulcer in the legs, these are all the patients who need treatment for the varicose veins. If he or she is experiencing bleeding, from the varicose vein, then it is an emergency indication for the treatment. The patients with uh, ulcer or increased pain, which is not relieving with conservative measures, or patients with bleeding or clots in the veins or infection in the veins, these are the patients who definitely will require the treatment for the varicose veins. Varicose veins patients need a definitive treatment for the uh, effective relief of the symptoms and a decrease in size of the veins. But some patients, they are not fit for the definitive treatment. For those patients alone, 
will offer conservative measures like stockings, lifestyle changes and some medicines. The varicose veins can be treated using surgery or minimally invasive techniques. Surgery is ligating and stripping the affected veins. And the minimally invasive techniques, we have a plethora of uh, techniques nowadays like ablation of the affected veins using laser or radio frequency waves, sclerotherapy, mocha, varithina, injecting super glue, steam, etc. Out of this, the most commonly used techniques are ablation of the veins with the help of laser or radio frequency and sclerotherapy. This is done by introducing a catheter which is a thin tube with the help of a needle into the affected vein. Then the heat is generated from this tube from this tube which helps in closure of the affected vein. When the affected vein is closed the blood flow in the normal veins increases. This is how the ablation is done. Sclerotherapy. In sclerotherapy, we introduce a chemical called sclerosin with the help of a needle into the affected vein. The sclerosin is a chemical which damages the inner lining of the vein, leads to scarring and closure of the affected vein. These are treated with the help of microsclerotherapy. In this, a very thin needle is introduced into the reticular or spider vein followed by injection of a liquid sclerosin which helps in uh, eradication of all the reticular and spider veins. Worldwide, the minimally invasive techniques are performed by interventional radiologists and vascular surgeons for the treatment of varicose veins. It depends upon the severity of the disease and if, uh, if uh, for an ideal patient we can treat within 30 minutes. For a very complicated patients with uh, severe disease it can take up to one hour. It is performed as a daycare procedure. For an ideal patient after the procedure we can discharge him in two hours, but most of the patients we can discharge within one day. The procedure can be done as a completely painless procedure if, if we perform this under spinal or general anesthesia. The procedure can also be done under local anesthesia or nerve block which is little bit painful uh, which requires insertion of some needles. So this will be somewhat painful com compared to the spinal or general anesthesia. The varicose veins can be prevented by maintaining a healthy weight lifestyle changes like regular exercise that is walking or cycling for 30 minutes and for at least five days in a week also avoiding smoking avoiding prolonged sitting or standing avoiding cross-legging avoiding tight clothes and avoiding high heels these are all the measures to improve the blood flow through the veins that can prevent varicose veins. After varicose veins treatment, you will be prescribed compression stockings for a period of two months. Also, you need to avoid strenuous exercises for one month. 
and we will advise lifestyle changes like avoiding wrong sitting or standing reduction of weight and you will be given some medicines for a period of 5 days the minimally invasive techniques are less complicated compared to the surgical techniques when you undergo the procedure in the hands of an experienced doctor with proper training this will be very safe the complications are seen in less than 5% of the cases compared to the surgery which has complications up to 20 to 30% cases the recurrence rate in minimally invasive techniques is significantly less that is 3 to 5% compared to the surgical techniques which have a recurrence rate of 40 to 50% also the post operative pain the recovery time is significantly less in minimally invasive techniques compared to the surgery also the complications and side effects are lower compared to the surgery the varicose veins cannot be cured completely but the size of the varicose veins can be significantly decreased with the help of our treatment and the symptoms related to the varicose veins can be effectively relieved with our treatment no the varicose veins cannot be relieved on their own it needs some kind of treatment either conservative measures to prevent progression or a definitive treatment yes family history of varicose veins is a known risk factor for the occurrence of varicose veins in a patient